they're just the peeps are so good at intercepting the ball so that ghost gaming can't get any passes they almost got to stick closer to each other to more guarantee those connections as it goes to hawkster and aj denies it again yeah, you mentioned the interceptions they're there again it's all just another oh. piece of the puzzle of disruption plays magic bear he's been there for the interceptions he's been there for the demo plays but this time it's a long ball to an empty defense peeps now two up yeah and that's maybe ghost gaming just not getting desperate that sounds so negative but just really let's say motivated to score and sometimes you got to add another person to the mix just to see if you really had a chance to keep the peeps in their end you commit everyone you can but lapse in judgment gives a second goal to peeps and with a minute 44 and really only three shots from ghost gaming you're starting to worry if they still have it in them but demos back and forth this is going all the way to the end can rattle salvages he does he stops it from going in oh and this is dangerous aj with boost a lot of space in the air this left up for Rettles there, but Magic Bear's got the next one off of the crossbar. Still there to follow. The defense just in shambles right now for Ghost Gaming. They cannot keep up. This is tough. Yeah, I mean, Zanil is trying to find where he belongs, especially on the defensive end. I find him kind of searching for where do I need to be? And if you're asking yourself that question in Rocket League, you're already behind on the play. And that's the type of at least reads and predictions that the peeps have. And when their offenses get going, it feels hard to just keep up with what they're putting on. And at least off the backboard there, Rettles goes in for at least opportunity number two. As Magic Bear thought he could redirect that into the net, crashes and burns. Rettles brings it back in. AJ with a soft touch. Shunk somehow doesn't even let that go in. Magic Bear is getting challenged up to the sky by Zanil. As really, if the peeps don't come, come out with anything here, it's fine because they're wasting precious seconds that Ghost Gaming no longer have. Yeah, time on the clock not working in the favor of Ghost Gaming. I trying to figure out what is limiting them to move into this blue half which Zanil's going to be able to do for a moment in time I look at their boost meters and they're not that filled as we continue on they're also averaging about two players on the field though it is Hoxer to be able to knock in that <laughs> demolition AJ this time from the wall side trying to tack on a fourth goal onto the tally may not be necessary but still magic bear little boost and Hoxer says I can play the disruption game as well he's got a bump to his name off of the backboard again aj wants that double tap but it won't happen magic bear now up the wall side another demolition and the 10 seconds becomes more of a formality though shock wants to come in a black tie affair it's to zanil for the final shot it's not completely out of contention here lemon but it's good for ghost to get it regardless Shock maybe whiffs the double tap, but at least baits out the defense to almost pre-jump for it, and then you have the follow-up. Because that's what I really was hoping to see more of from Ghost Gaming, is how they la they layer themselves together, and how on the offense or defense, who's following up with either play? They get pretty okay clears, but with the last few seconds draining by, it won't be enough for Ghost Gaming to really make this close in game one. Peeps, they came out swinging, and they knocked it out of the park. God, they came out swinging, and... You know, it's like one of those baseball innings where somebody's on offense and they keep scoring and scoring and scoring. And well, their turn just never ends until they get three outs. It took maybe three clears for Ghost Gaming to finally get some time on the other side of the pitch. And yeah, with a goal, that's good. But I mean, we need to talk about the, the things that Ghost Gaming need to clean up. It's avoiding the disruption, the, the demos, the interceptions. That's big, but boost as well. I feel like the peeps are absolutely uh just taking over the resource control stealing boost and leaving ghost with little to do that's why they're not able to make these clears yeah with little to do and wondering what to do i kind of already mentioned that it felt like ghost gaming were just looking unsure on the field and i wish we had interviews to just straight up ask them but this is kind of what i'm assuming just by kind of how slow they're moving around and it's almost like a reactive play style where they wait for the approach of the peeps and then they just kind of hope that they fumble or they kind of try to disrupt them as you mentioned and then hope to counterattack. but no counterattack has ever leveled up to something really lethal and i think that just came down to ghost gaming not really working together shocks going for a double tap whiffs it then zanil's like i i guess i'm gonna throw myself in the hat or you know throw my throw my name in the hat but it, it, it just has to look more cohesive if you're ghost gaming yeah cohesivity that could be name of the game if you're ghost as well making sure zanil finds his place right now it is the peeps looking to find their place on the goal line that was almost the start that ghost gaming needed 
It comes back down to the midfield. Maybe it's a good sign, though, for Ghost Gaming to get the get, get a good start here in game two. Already some really good passing from the peeps. I'm already seeing Ghost Gaming try to intercept some of those because it's the peeps that have been already puppeteering this entire field. Here's a shot, just a real soft one from the peeps, but they're able to also recover the rebound. You have somebody in front of the net. I believe that was AJ, but Ghost Gaming stand firm and tall in front of the net. They're and you see the peeps trying to pass back and forth, and it's been increasingly difficult. Now it's important for Shock to look for a clear here because it looks like the peeps are really putting the pressure on. AJ goes for the second touch to bait out Sunil. The patience pays off, and the peeps are up 1-0. There's no resources to even get to the save, and we had the player view of Shock as well, who came to the mid boost and couldn't even find it there. There is nothing to fill the tanks of these Octanes, the three of them, for Ghost Gaming. They're without fuel, they're without speed, and the peeps just putting them in a chokehold right now. It's gonna take something different, some uh, different rotations to make sure that they're the ones disrupting the peeps. Change absolutely needed right here for Ghost Gaming. Maybe they can work off of the possession here. See, AJ has the ball though. I'm, I'm worried. At least Shock has had some good challenges, but in terms of turning that into, into a productive moment, Ghost Gaming are still figuring that out. Now, Hawkser has Shock on the other side. I think he is going for boost though. No, he actually got the call that he's supposed to be passed to. Zanil to Hawkser, but couldn't center this out in front of the net. And now trying to get possession back is a whole new ordeal in Ghost Gaming. are just barely having a hold on this. This drops down to Shock, but a good 50. Forced by the peeps, sends it the other way, and it's just full chaos. Now, Shock has to bring out the gloves, and is this three on two enough to just release this chokehold that the peeps have on the Ghost Gaming? Not really. Yeah, not quite. And listen, it's really Rettles and AJ that just looks so comfortable in this matchup. Like, this is the second time now Rettles has gone for this play on the clear, and he's being given all of that space as well. The elevation he's taking to the play is so smart because I haven't seen Ghost Gaming really clamp down on that yet. Another high pass out to AJ. He's almost the first to make it. But again, they've got to be able to flex AJ's oh mechanics God. better and better. Magic Bear tried to flex his uh, dip and dive a little in and now left to right a little bit in the infield, but they can't manage to get it to the goal line. Shock with a lane to the net, but that's saved by Magic. Oh, see, it's like everything is, all the dots are connecting. When the peeps go for a touch, they send the ball a certain direction, it always feels like it has intention. Like, for example, just on that defense, they pop it to midfield, and there was a peeps member to make sure it wasn't centered out in front of the net. They, it just feels like the peeps have these contingency plans, and they look so calculated on how they approach. Now, Magic Bear had a chance to maybe do something with the, the rebound that could have happened there, but Ghost Gaming are making it difficult to score. I mean, that's why we're in the second half with only one total goal yeah one total goal and there's also one total shot registered right now for oh, Go true. ghost gaming if you want to uh put a, stake your flag in this game right now and have a chance you've got to work up a little more pressure than that that's why i was talking about the comfort levels right now for the peeps they just look <laughs> a little too comfortable that demo looking a little too easy the only shot taker just removed from the stadium it's got to be more of a threat coming out right now from Ghost Gaming. So they're going to give it a try here. Zanil does manage to get that ball to the corner. Now Hawkser has a look right up at the crossbars. They're a follow. Shot can't get the touch. Zanil is next, but Reynolds reads the shot. I just can't believe it. I mean, the, the peeps are playing with their food. They're like giving the ball to Ghost Gaming. It's... it's you give them a, somebody a chair at the table and then you pants them right before they sit down. That's kind of like what this feels like because the peeps, they give the ball and then they just demo Zanil right after. And it's like he's doing everything, but he has all three defenders of the peeps in his way. This is just feeling impossible. Ghost Gaming had so much time to work on this and now they have to defend. This lands in front of the net. Magic Bear with the touch. Hawks are bare saves it we're left with a 1-0 game it's not impossible for ghost gaming to tie at this point they're only down by one but magic has to happen in the next 40 seconds that's right for how desperate it looks it is just one goal that could change it hawks are off of the backboard shock looks at it but doesn't like the chance he's gonna try again from the midfield he does find an outlet to hawks are. he's off the side wall but it's intercepted once again from around the corner they go zanil next that 
will clear, needs a little more intention. He's able to get there with the 50-50 Hoxer. Miss out and Magic Bear, a huge dunk. AJ's removed from the pitch, but he still has a lane to the net. Still Hoxer, able to kick it away. 10 seconds now. Oh, and Hoxer almost fouled on the pass there in the infield. This is gonna be a chance for Ghost Gaming if they can manage to get this ball to the goal line. AJ seems to be in control, albeit little boost, and the ball remains on the ground. The peeps, it's only one goal that it took, but they'll get another win under their belt. Oh, what a game. And especially one where we didn't have what you, you counted, like, what, one total shot going into the second half, it felt like. Like, it's the peeps were playing with their food. I don't even think they need to peak to win this series. It, it's we're already on match point now for peeps going into game three. And Ghost Gaming, there was it, I think it just it lacked intention. They had really good well time challenges. Shock, I think, did a lot of hus was hustling a lot on the defense. Zanil was looking for plays on the offense. He just kept getting demoed every single time. So it's but Ghost Gaming kind of need to come together. It needs to okay if you're gonna go for a challenge, where do you think that challenge is gonna go afterwards? It's like trying to get these predictions. It feels like Ghost Gaming are a little bit behind on that. Yeah, and listen, Ghost Gaming, they they have the players to be able to put that intentionality behind the plays like. Hawks are in shock. They've played together for a while now. We saw that top four regional in the spring split not too long ago. They have the potential to be great players and really put a dent in this series against the peeps. It's just the execution at this point, and it's just finding that fit for Zanil right now. That's where their struggle is. And at this point, being down 0-2 to two in the series, they'll only have one more chance at doing just that. So, Lemon, we, we've seen a lot of Game 5s today. We've really been taken around <laughs> with some crazy matches, but this has the makings of a potential sweep. Yeah, and as we approach the end of the day, I mean, composure is so important, and both teams have already started off the day pretty decently, you know, 2-1, and one, and losing here is not the end of the world, but winning here means Day 2 for the peeps set up for success for that ghost gaming their confidence is growing but in an O into a situation after you keep getting scored on first ghost gaming are always playing from behind oh, magic bear a continuous nuisance you also see the clumping on the backboard from ghost gaming it's not good to see two players in the same spot that rotation just never found from the kickoff and when you get in those awkward situations, you know that the peeps are going to pounce. They're in another situation to do just that. Shock's very smart to take off that play from the backboard and strict AJ from the double tap opportunity is trying to set up. Back to the midfield, Ghost Gaming, they're, they're glad to get a little more composure. They're not scored in the next 15 seconds. Still some moves to be made. At least that's shock. Okay, he at least put that into the corner. Felt like Hoxer was gonna go away with it. They're still looking for the clear. Like Ghost Gaming are getting better and better, but just it maybe the peeps are just kind of head and shoulders above. Like just when it comes to the raw mechanics and understanding of where they need to position on the field. Now Hoxer to Zanil. That's a fantastic pass and one that peeps did not see coming as Ghost Gaming get the equalizer. And that's their first equalizer this time. The only goal they had was in game one towards the late seconds. It didn't feel that powerful that important but Zanil we had questions about how we would fit in and we've seen those inconsistencies in the rotations but coming up big on a shot there is gonna help put some life into this ghost gaming squad as yeah, Zanil just hesitated on moving down the field despite having the ball and maybe was waiting for more backup not sure if his teammates were going for boost but you just can't hesitate if you have the ball just go for it and maybe that's what happens because you keep getting demoed but shock at least takes care of aj for a second three on two for ghost gaming shot a shocks in the midfield getting shoved around by magic bear surely that's a foul but <laughs> at least this buys time for the peeps to move down start putting the pressure barely saved as we're still left with the one one game something makes me very happy that we don't do penalties in this game and pause the action <laughs> otherwise we would not have seen that incredible save that ghost gaming were able to come away with and transition possession it feels almost as if that first goal in this game was just the breath of life they needed. It is Hoxer now that's, oh, another option actually, as Shock moves this ball forward. AJ, the lone defender, is going to take that ball out to the side, give his team a little bit of time. They advance past up through the field. Reynolds trying to get that demolition, but those games are becoming smarter as the series goes along. We noticed how the peeps, they've been so disrupted through the bumps, through the demos. Now Ghost Gaming, they're starting to see that. Their visibility increasing, they're getting better at dodging them, and they're getting more chances out of it. 
And at least, yeah, they, I definitely agree that Ghost Gaming are evolving as we go. But what I like about the peeps, and every time they challenge, is that the peeps also have the second touch after the challenge of the 50 goes awry. And just that extra seconds of possession gives the peeps control of the whole situation, like right here. Magic Bear to Rettles, good challenge from Shock. Guess who recovers after the 50? It's Magic Bear to AJ. Just all the dots connect when you're watching the peeps. It's like an orchestra. But it's not easy to score. Ghost Gaming have been able to defend their net quite well it's still 1-1 one, one. it's a winnable situation Zadil has the longest carry but it's recovered by AJ and Hawkser has to leave the midfield Ooh, I thought AJ was gonna do a long coast to coast carry as well but that's very smart for Ghost Gaming to cut it off as soon as it begins Magic Bear takes to the ceiling has boost to catch up to this ball Zanil looking much quicker on the field this game. Gets to that challenge as quickly as he can. Shocks next as his ball traverses the width of the field. He's got an extra touch to try and string AJ along to the wall. Still got possession to work with. That's a boost deal in the corner as well, so Ghost can Ooh. move on this. <laughs> AJ has to make a diving save. A beast on the back line, but Zanil is next up. He just can't catch up with the ball. Would have been a possession that managed out for some better shots there, but they just couldn't culminate with that pressure. Just the presence that the peeps have in the air, too. It feels like so many times Ghost Gaming could connect on a pass. Like, shock. I thought he had an open net to score. And the peeps are just so well-timed and really good at reading and predicting where the play goes. Because how else could you just have the perfect well-timed challenge like that? But now Rettles looking for the lead, hoping to just shoot it on by, and Hawkser sends it away. Now a counterattack for Ghost Gaming. It's coming quick, but not something that the peeps couldn't read in time as they recover the ball and hope to go through their left side. Shock's going to meet him halfway, bounces over to Hawkser, takes a shot too high off the backboard. It doesn't look like Ghost Gaming want to approach. Don't want to make a mistake as bodies collide in the air and this somehow goes in the net. And in what better fashion could it go in the net? Shock by an inch misses that ball. And Rettles just being Rettles, taking out the last defender. Thought that first goal from Ghost Gaming in this matchup could have been the turning point. That's where Ghost start to take a leading role in this series. But instead, as the seconds wind down, Peeps give themselves a great chance. That was Zanil with a flip reset. AJ, he's read flip resets way too much. He's got a lane to get in there. Rettles has to make diving save there double jump there to get it out of the goal line just 20 seconds left for ghost to survive in this match it does feel like the peeps are also a very physical team like not in terms of demos but in terms of important bumps and i that might have been why that last goal even went in on an open net like that but at least ghost gaming try to match on the demos this is on the goal line and reynolds recovers 3-1 for the peeps to seal the deal in the series i'm surprised daniel wasn't the one to score this he flipped towards the ball at this point who was gonna score it any of the six players on the field that ball uh, strung along the red carpet that was the goal line taking pictures from the paparazzi spent a little too long <laughs> there but hey it's gonna be enough the peeps with that last second goal are able to secure their win a sweep against ghost gaming and like i just this was a whole other level the peeps just i've already said head and shoulders above ghost gaming to the point where i almost felt like the peeps uh, step the foot off the gas a little bit, but not in a bad way, but more in a, in a silly, like, give the ball to the other team yeah. kind of way, and just not, it's just like I've already... Alright, well, that obviously did not go the way we wanted, but that's okay, right? We regain, we regain.